Hey, good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is actually already uh, mid uh, midday. We uh, went fishing early this morning. And it was raining when we, uh, you know, were uh, leaving the home or our campsite. So I didn't take my video camera with me today because it was raining, so I didn't want it to get wet. It was almost the entire time we were on the water was raining. Yeah. Drizzling at least. But anyways, we got lucky. We got a good amount of fish again today. I think we had 12 jackfish, northern pikes and one pickerel so we're pretty happy with that we cleaned them all up now it's time to go back to the campsite and uh, clean everything up and go home the fun is coming to an end this is our last camping trip I think yeah. for the pretty year much, so yeah. I think so Anyways, let's go home. Made it back to my dad's campsite, cleaned up all the fish, and uh, yeah, brought back Ronnie's tarp. We had rented that. So here we go. Now, we're gonna go ahead and cook us some lunch. It is time for that. We had fish fry yesterday, so today we're cooking something else. Yeah, looks like he's putting all his uh, fish underneath the bags there, eh? Under ice, eh? Yeah, look at that. Nice fish. Nice big bag full of fish right there. We got a salad going right here. And we got some uh, meat over here. Some more meat here. And some baked potato on the grill. Yeah! Look at that. We're going to be having us an awesome barbecue here in a minute. We got some uh, mushrooms over here. So if you guys know what kind of mushroom this is, I don't know if it's safe to eat or not, but who knows, right? I don't know, it's got, I guess, a bit of a brownish color to him. Yeah, look at that. Anyways, we've gotten some rain overnight and uh, now we had uh, 12 northern pike jackfish and we had uh, one pickerel, so an awesome day. But we are cleaning up and that. We already took the tarp off over there, off of the tent. The wife is cleaning up all the bedding. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably have uh, lunch here in a little bit and then we'll go home and we gotta clean up. Fun time is over. On our way home, guys, we've had our nice lunch. Cleaned everything up. Time to go home. This is the lake that we were fishing at here the other day. At least one day we were fishing up here. Well, we got a few fish. About two of them. Yeah. But it was very cold and windy that day, so didn't really have that much luck. But anyways, we're on our way home, sweet home. We've been here for a few days now, so we really enjoyed ourselves. At least we did. So that's awesome. The summer pretty much comes to an end right now. School started already again for the kids? Yep, school has started. Trees are starting to change colors. So we'll see how long it takes before we start getting snow. As you guys can see, I'm at a truck stop and uh, I am still trucking. For those of you guys that are wondering, you know, I haven't made any trucking videos. And uh, I said, you know, 
eventually I'll probably start showing you guys a little bit on a truck stop, right? It looks like the sun is about to go down and it is beautiful down here. I'm in Texas right now and uh, I'm just uh, north of San Antonio, Texas right now. We went all the way down to Laredo and delivered up there this uh, morning or by lunchtime I guess I could say. Then I had to sit there for a little bit and wait till I got a reload. So now we're on our way to pick up a reload here for tomorrow. But anyways, I decided, you know what? Let me go for a little bit of a walk and see what kind of goodies we can find up here in Texas, right? They got cactus and all kinds of stuff up here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find any out here, but uh, we'll give it a shot, right? So I figured I'd show you a little bit of the trucks. I'm sure there's quite a few of you guys that are missing those. So you guys can see them in the background. Oh, this truck is really loud. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it, but it is. But anyways, let me go see if I can find any goodies and uh, I'll show you as much as I can, right? Since it is still nice and warm, why not go for a nice little walk? Look at that. There's some nice trees up here. I know they are nice. There is some clouds up there, as you guys might be able to see. And they are calling for some rain possibly later. Yeah, look at that. We are a little bit on a hill. And there is actually a Mexican restaurant right over there. And I don't think I've ever eaten over there, but me and my wife were uh, going to have some burritos here the last time we were up here in this area. My wife, I guarantee you, she remembers this place because we were over here. Look at them interesting trees, though. They're definitely different than you see them in Manitoba, that's for sure. It's kind of hard to see from over here, I guess, but... Anyways, I'm going to go see if I can... Ah, that looks kind of kind of tough but I may not be able to walk on on this side because there's no shoulder over here really to speak of and there's uh, four wheelers going by here all the time yeah, I might be able to show you a little bit down there but that's about as far as I can pretty much go I don't know if I can go into the bush here too much let's go check it out anyways I might not be able to show you nah I don't really want to go in there. There's a lot of trash in there. Yeah. Oh, is that? That almost looks like somebody living in there, but there's just some plates. I don't know if you guys see that. You guys see that? There's some aluminum plates in there, like for on the roof and stuff. Uh, I don't know. There might be somebody living in there. I don't want to go check it out. <laughs> you hear that? I don't know if you guys hear them bugs out there, but I was really hoping to see some cactus plants over here. And I was going to show you those, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck. I walked across the street, and it looks like I might be able to go for a little bit of walk on this side. I just had to be a little bit patient until there was nobody coming anymore, right? But look at that. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunset today. Although, if that is going to be the case where... The sun is going to be behind the clouds. May not be such a good luck, but I don't want to point the camera down right here. Looks like somebody ran over something over here, so <laughs> I don't want to show you that. Whew, that smells bad too. Oh boy. <laughs> but anyways, let's go for a little bit of a walk and see what we can show you guys. I don't really know how good you guys are going to be able to see it, but there's kind of like a red and yellow and green rainbow up there in the clouds. I doubt it that you guys are going to be able to see it real good, but uh, I was also going to show you these massive, massive towers or round things up there. Satellite towers, I guess you could call them. Right up there, there's a couple of cars coming by here right now, but look at the massive things right there. Those things are huge. They're like TV's antennas or whatever you call them. There must be some sort of TV station up there. It wouldn't surprise me. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn around and walk back. Decided to make a little bit of a pit stop and it says no pets allowed, but it doesn't say humans aren't allowed, so I like it. It's a very, very nice rest area. And we got 
beautiful, beautiful green trees up here as of right now. And since I'm heading north where it is much cooler than what it is up here right now, right now we got a whopping 32 degrees Celsius. I figured, you know what? Let me go for a little bit of a walk. Since this is a beautiful, nice, clean rest area, tables in the shades up here where you can kind of sit, maybe have lunch or something like that if you're traveling. I am already in Oklahoma, but I did, I did see a huge squirrel over there. Let me see if I can still find it. I'm hoping I can, and I would like to show it to you. I did see there is a little bit of a gravel road in the back there. I'm gonna see if I can maybe go for a little bit of a walk over there. Yeah, it looks like uh, that squirrel has disappeared on me. Yeah, I don't see it here anymore, but I do see some of these berries that have fallen off of the tree right there. Yeah, you guys remember I showed you guys, uh, I think you guys called it an apple something. Yeah, you see it right there? There's actually several of them up here. Yeah, there's one right there. There's a whole bunch right there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you guys told me exactly what it was. Yep, there's a few more. Oh, there's the squirrel, I see it. Uh, let me see if this camera will even focus on it. Yeah, it's having too much of a hard time. It's actually sitting right over there by that tree. It's actually on that tree itself. But since we're not able to focus on it, it's, I guess it's too dark in there. I guess we're not gonna worry about it. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got a little bit of a gravel road down here. And I see a bird over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even zoom in on him. Yeah, I am. Look at that. Can't quite make out what kind of bird it is, but yeah, it almost looks like a robin, but anyways. I guess uh, we'll go for a little bit of a walk in, the, in here and enjoy the nice, beautiful, sunny weather. Nice and warm up here. Like I said, it is beautiful, beautiful. And why not take a half an hour break while you can, right? I know I really wanted to show you some cactus in Laredo. But I never really got around to doing that, so maybe next time, maybe next time. I didn't really have, I didn't really have an area where cactus was readily available whenever I stopped somewhere, so yeah. Nice little breeze going here today. It really is. Oh, there's a lot of grasshoppers out here too. Let me see if I can zoom in on this one over here. Let me see. Uh, there it is. Yeah, you guys see it? There's a beauty Beauty old grasshopper right there and these ones when they fly They uh, have almost like a butterfly color to them and there's a ton of those out here, but yeah I figured I'd just go for a walk Enjoyed the beautiful breeze out here. That's for sure. This is basically the entrance up into this rest area but what I really wanted to show you guys is behind there, there's them hills up there and they got these windmills up there. You guys see that? They are a long, super, super long distance away, but uh, yeah, I just figured that's kind of neat. I know there is a little bit of, I don't know what you call it, smoke or pollution in the air, so it's kind of hard to see. You see how much of a zoom that was? But yeah, this road just kind of comes right out here where the entrance is to the rest area. And just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day. Nice green trees. I said, ah, enjoy the beautiful weather. Barely any clouds. Well, you got a few white clouds here and there, but other than that, yeah, I enjoy it. Go for a little bit of a walk, right?
just came across this beauty up here. It's, uh, you know, getting some colors up here. I am in uh, Saskatchewan right now. Um, you know, I'm uh, traveling across Canada and the United States, right? And I just kind of came across this uh, pullover area here and I realized what this was. To me, this looks like back in the day, these used to be campsites up here. And the reason why is uh, because of those posts right there. You guys see that? Those are like power outlets right there. And so this looks to me like this used to be some sort of uh, campsite. You see them post right here? They have like power outlets out there. And uh, what I found really unique is there's a couple of old buildings up here. And I want to go see if I can uh, perhaps show these to you guys. I haven't really gone over there to look at them. But I spotted them. So I said, you know what, let me go get my camera. And show you a couple of really old buildings up here. Yeah, they're getting ready to fall apart. but uh, And it is a little bit chilly up here. Oh, what is this? That looks like some sort of pipe. Huh. I wonder what this is. Somebody's moved that tank recently. You can see it used to be laying right there. So somebody's been in here. This looks like a well. Wouldn't you believe this? I want to be careful there isn't any animals in here. You never know, right? There could be snakes in here. It looks like there's a bird nest in there. Look at this, guys. Yeah, that's a well. Look at that, guys. Wow. The water is quite high even. Yikes, this is an old fashioned wall right here. Wow. And there is like a bird nest right there. There is another one right there. Another one right there. The birds love it in here, I guarantee you. So, there is another one over there. I want to go check that one out too. Ha, huh, what a unique place, eh? I never seen that before where they have like a big pipe like that for a wall and uh, I guess that was the drinking water at one point well yeah, look at this there's a couple of holes here huh I wonder what that is almost looks like there's some sort of animal trail right there too and over there, you see that? let's go check it out almost looks like there's a farmer out there in the back over there but yeah this is Outdoor Adventures, guys, at, it, at its best. <laughs> yeah, let's go check this out and see what's all in this building right here. I'm curious. Oh, I see some old metal over there, too. Oh, wow. looks like somebody's ripped off this door. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, looks like... Oh, yeah, I see what they did. They, uh, they used this kind of wire to put the cement on there. Oops, I just hit my camera. Let's see. Oh yeah, they had a stove in here. You guys see that? Turn my light on so you guys can see. I don't really want to go into this one because that floor is all rotten, right? So I don't want to break it. But if you guys look in here, you guys can see uh, uh, wood chips and stuff like that. That's what they used back in the days for uh, for insulation. Yeah, really small building like that. But anyways, I'm kind of curious to see what that piece of metal over there is. Oh, somebody has dug a hole over here. That looks like a fairly big animal. Huh, like a dead spot over here. I wonder what that's all about. But anyways, I'm just going for a, for a nice, uh, Little walk over here in the field, just checking things out. This is what Outdoors uh, Adventures is all about, right? At least I think so. Oh, there is another big hole like that. You guys see that? Anybody know what kind of animals that would be, that would be digging holes like that? Up here in Canada? That looks like a big hole. Yeah, looks like a wood pile, a real old wood over here. I have no idea what that is. Oh, looks like some old pipes up here. Yikes. I have no clue what that is supposed to be. Oh, there's some wire right there. 
that I just stepped on. <laughs> and there is some cattle over there. Yeah, let me see if I can show you guys. There is that farmer that I was talking about. Let's see. I don't see anybody there. But he definitely does have a corral there, I guess, to get his cattle into it. But yeah, another tank right here. Huh. Very, very interesting, guys. This really is. The sun has risen. We stayed here actually for the night. And uh, we are on our way home now. But uh, yeah, so let's go back. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and close off the show here. Uh, I've been on the road for over a week now already. And uh, for those of you guys that are just tuning in for the first time to my channel, we appreciate you guys checking us out. And please consider subscribing and see more outdoor adventures here on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you are new, you may not know, but we are a truck driver. So we travel America, like uh, United States and Canada. So it might be a good idea for you to subscribe because you will be able to see all kinds of outdoor adventures across both countries, right? And uh, so hopefully we can entertain you guys. And if we are, please don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. And uh, we'll see what kind of animals and outdoor adventures we can show you here over the next little while, right? I know winter is coming up. It might be a little bit tougher for me to really show you all kinds of animals, but we will do our best, right? Oh, so with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out the pictures at the end of the uh, video. I usually do put a few in there. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one, which will probably be in a few days. Mm -hmm.